Roald Dahl's gruesome twosome, The Twits, have inspired not one, but two revoltingly fun new apps. Now we're going to find out how their story was turned into a game. Here's The Twits Guide to App Making. This is Donny, part of the Chunk team, who developed House of Twits. And this is Ben and Ricky from Ardman Animations. They created Roald Dahl's Twit or Miss. And that's me. I'm the voiceover artist. You'll see more of me later. Some beastly bird has dropped his droppings on my head. How did they come up with the idea for the Twits apps? When we came up with the idea of the game, one of the main things was tricking. There was a lot of games where you could actually, you had characters that you could help and nurture, so you could do nice things for them, feed them, clean them and things like that. And we thought it'd be a nice thing to do to twist that and to actually have uh, an app where your characters you play tricks on, like the Twits play tricks on each other, so get almost getting your own back on the, the Twits. Well, Twit or Miss is essentially a tower defence game where you have to stop Mrs Twit from being showered from food, which is shot out of Mr Twit's mouth. We took one very small part and, and exploded it into a mechanic idea, which of course was the dirty beard. Coming up with ideas? Any Twit could do that. How do you turn it into a game? To find the fun, we do something called paper prototyping, which is where we make the game out of paper or any bits of toys and rubbish you have throwing, uh, throwing around the office. Or in the case of a food fight. Some food, and throw them at one another and work out where the fun is. And that's how we discovered lots of the trick shots. And then eventually you'll start seeing it all animated, and then beyond that you'll start seeing all of the nice little touches, like the eye wiggling around in her, in her head. And Well, we took a... Um, an iterative process, which means we made lots and lots of versions and played it as many times as we could to really work out what was fun. Oh, look at those worms. Squelchy. While both apps were inspired by Quentin Blake's artwork, Roald Dahl's House of Twits has an extra trick. We decided to make the characters 3D early on because there's a lot of animation in the game. In the books you have all the sort of illustrations of the characters, so you've got all your reference material. So it is really about trying to find the characters from all different viewpoints. So how do they look side on, how do they look front on? And then modelling the characters from there in a 3D and 3D software. Now there's something called testing. Sometimes with um, game development, we won't put in instructions for some of the mechanics because we want to see if they're intuitive, see if people can figure them out. So as a game um, tester, you have to just be tenacious, just don't give in when you're trying to play a game. Play testing's a real job. Ah, here comes the best part. Um, one of the things about the game is that the voices um, of Mr and Mrs Twit are actually voiced by the same person, so that's letting you into a little bit of a secret. I've got eyes everywhere, so you better be careful. Nasty little toad. Does my face really do that? So that's it. Simple, really. You take a brilliant book with amazing characters, you throw some things at each other, do hundreds of sketches, test, 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 add some funny voices, and there you have your app. I might try it myself. I told you I was watching you.